We're going to cover the installation setup of my uh, fabulous bicolored LED turnout indicator light. First uh, section of this video is going to be a brief operation sequence and shows you just exactly how it works. Let's go ahead and get started. This is just a little introduction into what this whole process involves here. Uh, you can see the black power wire, that's the hot wire, the positive wire. It's attached to a resistor, which is attached to the center pole of the three-prong, uh, three-pole switch. Uh, the red wire goes to one side of the switch. The green wire goes to the other side of the switch. And in the orange tape there is a um, is the LED. And that's what the LED looks like. It really doesn't matter how you wire it up because you're going to find out what color it is when you turn it on. And the short side is actually the green wire and I always do that just for grins and giggles. The red wire uh, goes to the longer one and the white wire goes to the center. That's the neutral. So when you get this all put together uh, that's what that's what you have and this goes I put the the uh, black wire in first and then the on the other side of the rail I put the red green and white shove them down through a, a, a 3 8 inch hole and then I cut out in the uh, tabletop uh, 2 inch foam I cut out for the uh, switch and run it, run it, wires down through another 3 8 inch hole. Then I double back and run the red and green wires back up to the switch from underneath the table and solder them onto the switch, solder the white wire and the black wire to their respective terminals, plug it in, rock and roll. As you can see I have the holes prepared. This is for the uh, toggle switch and this is for the LED. That's dug out a little bit and there's a quarter inch hole for the wires to feed down. The, the switch just goes in. It doesn't really matter because you're going to pull it back up anyway. So just feed the wire down through the hole and it'll set. <clears throat> and then you take this, put it over the top of it, and then you can gauge the, the height by the, this, um, see this other nut right under here? That You can raise that up and it needs to be so this point right in here is level with the turnout um, activator. So it, you have to bury it down there just a little bit. And I found that out after about putting in about three other ones. So this is our red, green, and white wire with the LED. That just feeds right down through here. I didn't figure you folks needed me to, to show me how to, to drill a, a two holes. But you prepare it so it you can put the, the light anywhere. This has got to be across from the, the activator, of course. Now the simple problem is crawl under the table, take the red and green wires, bring them back up through here, through this hole, solder them to that post, get this level, and then you take a piece of uh, 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 solid 20 gauge wire with still with the insulation on it, and then fit it to the switch and the turnout activator and we'll get to that in a minute. You can see the switch now uh, with the um, soldered pieces there. I'm going to put orange tape here between these two points because this is a little bit close to the green wire and want to be stuffing it down on the hole. I don't want to fool with that. So that's how it works and then you'll see this red wire here you just hook it into the hole uh, in the activator and there's a little tip on the top of these things and if you can see that right here you need to get your snips and uh, clip that off like I did while just uh, before I started the camera now that's about it push it back in set your height right with this wire wrap the wire around this switch right there at that particular point right here and it uh, it works. You can take a look at the uh, the other video there and, and uh, see how those wires are hooked up. Matter of fact, I've got one. I'll just 
hand to right now, I think. Yeah, you'll see how that wire is wrapped around the base of that switch so it toggles. That's exactly how, how it works. Once I get the, the right height, I will glue those down to the, uh, to the tabletop. And I made the mistake of covering my whole table with uh, plaster cloth. Please don't make that mistake. I just didn't know you weren't supposed to do that. Okay, here we go. Um, I'm going to show you the last couple of uh, turnouts I have to wire up. So I've got my 20 gauge black wire, and it's you got to keep the insulation on it, I found. So I cut a piece that's long enough. This is not a game of trying to save wire. So I want to strip uh, just a little bit off the end, maybe like so. <clears throat> and the key is to have the uh, all these things not glued down yet. In other words, they're loose. Then you take your um, uh, stripped end, and this little burr here, uh, I've already trimmed them off, but there's a little burr on the Pico uh, uh, turnouts. So you want to have this loose so you can get this wire down in here and then spin it around and it, you don't want to squeeze this because you might break the switch and then you're back to block A. So you just want a base for this so you can turn it. And I don't know if you can see that but it's, it's a full horseshoe underneath there. Now I just want to set this down and I've got this showing so it's green when it's this way. So in other words when I flip the, the turnout it'll go over here it'll be red. So it, I find it easier to do when it's actually on red, um, because well, no, I'm sorry, <laughs> on green, because it's back up against here, <clears throat> and you can you can get a better a tighter fit. Now you want to pay attention to which side of the toggle. I don't know if you can see this or not, but because I'm not able to see it myself, um, you want to make sure that this this would not work over here because it's an angle throw. So you want to make sure that you get it over here, and if you have to adjust it. You can pull this up a little bit and use your X-Acto knife and uh, uh, make a, a better cut. So you want to take this and wrap it around, keeping this uh, plate in the uh, uh, position. And once you, you've got to hold this down so you'll know that's a nice smooth throw. I like to hear them click. So that's all there is to it. It is just really that simple. But... I'll show you another video of what the other side of my table looks like, and um, it's a bird nest on the ground. I'm going to finish this last one up, and then I will uh, go onto the table. This is the uh, turnout uh, toggle switch, and I want you to, to notice um, this one I removed from my layout because I think the LED was bad. You see this um, nut here? There's two nuts on there. Um, one has a washer on top and that's you need to put the washer on top because there's a spot you can see maybe right there which will hold this thing and keep it from turning and that's very very important obviously this nut you can raise up and lower the, the white plastic styrene to get it to, to the height you want because if it's too low it's not going to work right you're going to have a lot of trouble if it's too high obviously the same problem and you'll see that I've uh, on the switch here uh, this is resistor. Uh, you have to use one of those. Uh, this is the red and the green, which goes into the uh, layout and then comes back up into uh, and hooks into the uh, LED light itself. When uh, I don't have that, I think I threw that away because I knew the LED was bad. But um, this gets hooked back into um, the uh, the LED and then. Uh, this wire goes to the middle part of the LED and then uh, uh, to the neutral, the, the other wire, the black wire. Uh, so um, just keeping in mind to get this uh, height right and th this is exactly the point where you want to wrap that um, 20 gauge uh, insulated wire. It, it goes at the bottom of the toggle and it works great. <clears throat> 